So Joe Button, Joe Button fires fired at um uh, Carisha. I'm ready. AKA I'm ready. Young Miami. Uh just a quick backstory about this. Um a few a couple of weeks ago or so, LL Cool J came on the Joe Button podcast as a guest. Um and when he did, he brought Joe his uh well coveted, sought out for gold plaque for uh Pump It Up, Pump which it he up. has been which he's been seeking from Def Jam for a long time. Um, if you know, if you know, if you're a fan of the podcast then you know this, um, so LL Cool J bought him that plaque when he came to do his interview, he got it, uh, from Def Jam and bought it. Joe believes the record to actually be a platinum record, not a gold record. Um, that's a whole different story. Um, but yeah, the video that was posted about that, Carisha reposted or commented under it with laughing emojis. Um, a lot, I guess a lot of people on the internet tried to make that like an L that cool, that that LL brought him his gold plaque or whatever it may be or that it was a gold that it was only gold maybe I don't know I don't know why they were laughing about that at the moment I don't really understand the time that. but the time yeah I guess I don't know but anyway they 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 were laughing at that Carisha was one of them and Joe had this to say specifically to Carisha it's also a luxury laughter I say all the time laughter is good for the soul Slash, the flip side of that, laughter is also a privilege. So while I'm happy that Carisha is able to laugh because she's had a stressful year, I am a little surprised that she has found enough time to laugh at anything. I'm not going to call you out of your name. I'm not going to be personal. I'm not going to be disrespectful. I want to keep this professional and on the music. If Complex were to do a list of where all the female rappers rate, Carisha, you would be last on the list. You would be drop dead last on that list. Every female out there is wiping you down right now. And to the people that are lost, I'm saying this because uh, Carisha put the laughing emojis over LL handing me my Pump It Up gold plaque. And do I believe Pump It Up to be a gold record? No. And do I believe that everybody in the lunchroom can laugh at something that may be funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Most of the lunchroom could get a good chuckle. But Carisha was the very last person I expected to do this. Carisha, not only may you be dropped from your label right now, but you are not allowed to put music out. There's nothing happening. I want to remind you that today I hear Pump It Up more than I hear you. So yeah. while you go on these social media rants and say that you were nine years old with Pump It Up dropped and now you're 30, you should be cautious of that. Because your record label today is saying to you that they're not seeing any growth. Self-admittedly, the only talent that you have possessed in recent years is providing emotion, yet you're at a standstill. I'm not talking city girls. I'm talking you. And that's my problem when it comes to current modern acts and the caricatures that you be. Like, I view you as a science project. And I'm not talking city girls because I'm a fan of city girls. And I'm on JT's side in the breakup. But I love city girls, and city girls has accomplished a few. No, for real, JT came up here, hair flowing. He's amazing. Like, like, stop for a minute. I ain't stupid. What'd you say, Karan? Yeah, he's a fan of JT. We could stop this record if you want. I mean, we could stop this if you want, if you don't want to. I know we under a time crunch. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out. I mean, I can go last no. too. It, it don't matter to me. But I'm gonna. No, I do want to play it some more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to play it some more. I gotta, I gotta try to read between some of the social media shit. JT came up here, skin glowing, hair glowing, knee high boots, with a staff she that did. didn't look cheap. She, mm-hmm. did. she came up here talking that talk. She came up here with music circulating and everybody and everybody up here. Absolutely loved her. Yes. Here's the kicker. JT also has a nigga with all the money in the world. Right. JT is with somebody. I fuck with JT. Throw the phone at that bitch at the award show, nigga. 
nigga. <laughs> I'm repping for mine. <laughs> JT got a nigga that got all the money in the world. And still, when the odds were against her, got to it. She got to it. For sure. She got to work. Niggas laughed. Oh, you're doing a small venue, Joe. Oh, you flopped. Oh, yeah. She came up here and got real. Yo, our last project, it wasn't the greatest. And I had to go back to the drawing board and really find myself. I don't think Carisha has the time. I don't think she has the time to laugh when it appears that she is going through an identity crisis. And that right there be my problem with y'all. I've seen y'all. I, I am very familiar with this type. I'm very familiar with the bitches that think they have bloomed into who they consume. Oh, wow. Mm. Was you good. was running around here and you gave JT your ass to kiss. Facts. You sat there with Saucy Santana who even rat. Okay. Okay, we get it. We get it right. Everybody get it right. Karan, go ahead, bro. First of all, uh, and, and I never, I'm not a break it down type of nigga. You two know, but I don't know if I've ever said it publicly, what Joe Button means like to me directly. We're from the same state. I don't give a fuck about that, right? Uh, I, I was a slight fan of his early music, including Pump It Up. But in this media space, Joe has literally helped change my life, sculpted in my mind. I'm a gigantic fan, admiration, everything in the world. But two things can be true. I can love Joe to death. Joe is dead fucking wrong. He's dead wrong and... He's the epitome of this old nigga hater that these young niggas be talking about. Nigga, you feel like you feel like pumping up with platinum? Bitch! The the RIAA said it didn't. It went gold. It went gold last year, August 2023. You have a small beef with Def Jam. They want to give you the plaque because they own the record. While you're constantly talking about motherfuckers' business sense, Def Jam owns the biggest record of your career. That's number one. Um, number two, you lied. You said she's the worst rapper of all the girls. That's not true. That's hyperbole. You probably meant it in hyperbole. Um, I remember you conveniently, specifically sucking Young Miami's dick before Puff hit dirt. Before, before they was dragging Puff's name through the dirt and you was over there in his good graces, you was sucking her dick. When Elliot was mad that she made seven on the list, you said specifically... She, her show is incredible. She belongs. Blah, 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 blah. You're only saying you love City Girls now because you're fucking with JT. I, where I dis she didn't give JT her ass to kiss. She was doing things that were directly feeding her family. If you go through their, and I don't know if you have or if you haven't, if you go directly through their catalog in their documentary, she always told JT, you're the rapper. I don't even really want to do this. But they fucking with it, so let's do this. She doesn't write her own rhymes. She's not a rapper. She doesn't love making music. It was a way for her to get out of her situation. And even in that, she has more platinum and gold records than your biggest record. You've criticized her boyfriend, her parenting, her appearance, and her entire career. Why can't she laugh that it took Pump It Up 20 years ago gold? We're not talking about Joe Button the Potter who's the GOAT, we're talking about Joe Button, the rapper. If we put the rap stats up against each other, she smokes you. I don't care how you feel. I don't care about your lyrics. I'm talking about the resume. She smokes you. You went out of your way to tear her down for the last, well, since Puff got in trouble, right? You went out of your way to say bad things about Carisha, a.k.a. Young Miami, since Puff got in trouble. Why wouldn't she laugh at you? What do you mean she can't laugh? So you can laugh, but she can't laugh? Perplexing. Perplexing. It blew my mind. But again, Joe's in his old hater nigga bag. He does it with Drake. He all he turned his back on Puff. I know y'all think it's over. I'm probably wrong. Never happens, but I'm probably wrong. Puff's going to come back with a vengeance, and I want niggas to remember, it's specifically Joe Button. I want niggas to remember the behavior. I want niggas to remember. Corey? Some of these topics, I don't even have the energy to, like, rebut. But for the sake of potting, I will do the best that I can. Um, <laughs> okay. So, 
the way I view this is who are you to laugh at me for getting my golden plaque and feeling honored that L. O. Cool J brought me my plaque? I don't care if it took 30 years, 40 years. I got a golden plaque for a record that I made. Yes, Def Jam owned it. All that shit you saying, her record. I don't know if she has more gold and platinum heads than he does, if she does, which I maybe may be the case. Whatever. She doesn't. Okay. So it's like, why are you making fun of me right now about this? This is something that I should be like, uh, uh, shake your head if you want. I'm being honored by one of my favorite rappers, and it's a golden plaque for something that I'm doing. And you're going to make fun. That's cool. By all means, do whatever makes you feel good. Now, I look at them differently. Button is from a, from a time where rappers who were nowhere near charting were getting like, like you may have been charting in rap, but not like Billboard Top 100. So like, you weren't really co- like her. It's a different game now. Like, so for her to chart Billboard Top 100, for one, it's it's just a different playing field. It's a different playing field. So I look at it like eras. It's like that's a different era. That's the 80s and 90s, low key. And now you, she's in the 2020s. Like, the game is different. Their contracts are bigger. The situation is different. The way numbers work and metrics work is completely different. Like, there's different way there's different different ways to measure things now. So I understand her point of view from like fuck this nigga is I'm gonna get off something just to hurt his feelings type energy. But he also has a valid point by saying, like you have the gall like you of all niggas have the gall to say something about me getting a golden plaque delivered from LL Cool J. Like, yo, little ass probably don't even understand the weight of why it's important that LL Cool J just brought me a plaque. So I'm not even going to even, like, acknowledge the goofy shit. But it bothers me. So now I have to say something. Because now I look crazy. I look like these little niggas is online supporting what you're saying. And it makes me look like the hater old head. When I'm really not, it's just kind of like I give an opinion. And for whatever reason, my opinion holds weight and affects people and affects the culture for whatever reason when i say something it affects the culture right who the fuck i don't even want to get any deeper in this simple as this yeah it's it's just it's how it's it's bitch you have the gall that's all you have the fucking gall um quran commented it has nothing to do you say she don't she has the gall that's what he said. No, you said she don't have more successful singles than, than Pump It Up? Is that, is that what you said? She doesn't. She does she? Does. No, 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 let me ask What's, you a question. What? No, does she? Because the same thing she's that you a, guys did with the Outcast shit, act. the same shit you niggas try to do with the Outcast conversation. I'm asking you a question. You're not talking to me. You're talking to Verse. I never said okay. that word. Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Let me calm down. Let me back no, up. No, you did. No, you, you did. You did separate Dre when you talked no. about the best rappers in Atlanta. You did separate Dre. Not as far as so, I try to. About, I tried I'm to. About, I'm talking about. She has platinum singles. He does. He has one gold single in his life. She has multiple platinum singles and gold singles, plural. That's, because what she's are a the part singles? of the city, city girls. girls. What she's are the a part singles? Of the city girls. Does she or the city girls? Because I know when Beyonce gets platinum records on her shit, oh, she don't look at Destiny's oh. Child and say we got platinum records. Oh, we talking Those about city girl records. records. We talking about the records that have. JT. She's not. She doesn't. She. She's not a solo artist. She's never had a she solo She is a project. solo artist. She is a solo what's, artist. Now she is. Now she is. What's the name of her what's the name of her album? She just hasn't dropped yet, but she's a solo artist now. That's she's the a solo point. Artist Not, that's she, the point. She's never she's never made a solo project. She's never had the desire. She's on record of saying I'm, if we split up listen to me. She's on record of telling JT with tears in her eyes. If we split up, I'm never rapping again. She says what she's she trying to then why she's trying, she said, why she's trying to put out music. What do you mean? Why she's trying to put out music? Yeah, why she's trying she to put out music? She, she wanted she wanted to do another City Girls album. The last one did. Matter of fact, the last two and a half did really bad. The label was like, "No, can, do you have something? City yeah. Girls, JT, whatever. Listen, 
whatever. No, riff she's they trying have, to put out her own she's music. Trying she's trying to put out solo music. That's girl. what we're trying to say, bro. She's trying to put out her yeah. own shit, and the label saying no. No, nigga, get popping. It's not good in enough. Her, in in her resume, the credit you were just talking about when you roll them in her house on the wall is platinum and gold. City That's girl. Fine. Her name. Her name. Her name is platinum and gold. There's no Joe Button platinum City record girls. in the world. In the, so she's, she's the so the she got a. So she has a performance split. She doesn't have a. She doesn't have a, 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 a writer split. There is there is zero platinum Joe Button single in the. It, it never. No, that's your question. Oh, sing, she has oh, a performance single, single. split, right? So like you got sure you got a does. platinum Her record QCA. for performing the record, but there's no creativity involved that you well, did. You, that. you just performed the you fucking record. That. I'm just we saying it's a. Pro- no, I'm, I'm just, just saying I'm, we don't we don't know. That. She she's the city girls have platinum singles. I tell you what, LL Cool J bring me a plaque. I don't give a fuck with that shit. Has so nothing to do if you with LL. Roast it's me, about, all right. It, I'm if telling you why I'm mad. If I'm Joe, that's what I'm saying. If you laugh at me and fucking Kendrick Drake, whoever the fuck, I don't give a shit. When a nigga that I hold into a higher regard brings me a plaque, and you niggas is roasting me, and it took me 15, 20 years, I'm gonna feel offended. Like for what? Like, what was the point of that? She she did it to offend you. Like everything you said. Like everything you said about her and her nigga was to offend her. Why? Why are we taking a stance was, that Joe's the victim? Facts. No, it's it, not a victim. Why is she so, mad so that, listen, she, so, that so she's on to fucking? So listen to me. Go ahead. You're saying ahead. you're saying it's facts. It's facts. Whatever he's saying about her parenting, her career, you're saying that's. I'm facts. not talking about the parenting. I'm talking about the Diddy no. shit. Her Wh- whatever she, it. whatever, whatever he's saying about her that she feels slighted, you feel it's a fact. Cool. I'm not here to argue that. Wait, don't I'm put words you, in my mouth. That's not what I said. No. You said you said whatever Joe said was a fact. You just said that. I just clarified what I meant. Oh, I said, okay, I okay, said okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whatever he said about her and her loved one, he said that. Whatever it was. We're not saying it's true or it's false because we don't know and I don't think we care. But he said that. He's been on his run of saying uh, things about these two people, right? Okay. Something happened to him that she deemed funny. Nigga, you talking about my career being over and everybody being better than me? I got two platinum singles in my repertoire. It took you 20 years for the biggest record of your life to get a gold plaque. I find that funny. He didn't, okay. She didn't call him and a bitch. What he's she saying, didn't talk about- and what he's saying is, all right, I'll let niggas. Okay, you know what? Everybody give their take. No, I, I'm agreeing with you. I understand Joe's point. I'm saying nobody's wrong. First, what I know of you, if somebody disrespected you, or Corey, if somebody disrespected you for a long time, and something happened that you thought was funny, you would laugh at it, right? No, you wouldn't laugh at it. So somebody would just disrespect you, and you would just you would just eat it. Pause. Um, I don't know, bro. It depends on the scenario. Yo, all of that, man. all I of that still, is cool. I, all of that is cool. Don't let. Don't you still can't. You still down. You're down right it's now. Like you're not in a position to fucking laugh. It's the nigga in the yeah, lunchroom yeah, like they were saying. Yeah, the nigga I talk shit about too hard you. Like, nigga, I know you not laughing over there. I know, I know you not laughing with those, and then you go off. Like, that's the situation. It's like, the shit that you're going through right now, you have the nerve and the time. To me, he bodied her with that. He yeah. bodied her with that. And when Joe point, be wrong, I'll say Joe's is... wrong. But I don't feel like he was wrong. I want to give it. I want to give my take on the on the clip of what's going on. Your point of saying, "Yeah, you know all of this stuff," and you done said stuff about me before, and of course I can laugh. Cool. Joe's not. Joe's not saying that there's not a laughable moment that some niggas can't laugh at me in this moment. I there's a part that we didn't put in there, but he starts off by saying, "I know that I dish it, so I have to be able to take it." However. This is his main point. However, you don't you don't have space to laugh at people because you're because right now you're down. You're you're you you you're not putting out shows. You're not putting out your podcast. The nigga that you attached yourself she to and, and and gave every and gave everybody your your fucking ass to kiss when when you had a mil, a billionaire nigga. He, the billionaire niggas is, is gone, and now you want to make city girl music. Now you want to make fucking city girl music. Meanwhile, JT, not only have you left JT out to dry on social media when you could have, when you could have had her back or stood back and let what, exactly what we was talking about off air with Corey. 
You can stand back and let your nigga get his ass beat or you can jump in a fight. Who gives a fuck that we jumped him? Am I going to stand back and watch my nigga get his ass beat? If you are, you're not my nigga. Carisha didn't give a fuck about making music once she got, once she got her podcast. JT had to go out and get that shit on her own. We're and I think part of take. and I I'm about to I was just about to say and I think part of her laughing at Joe Budden is because JT's on that po- was on that platform. That's that's part of it as well. They broke up for a fucking reason, bro. They are doing different things for a fucking reason. And the reason is because JT was fucking abandoned. And she had to go out there and, and beat just JT. When Carisha was the more popping fucking person. But she won't try to make music. If we come into the game as a group, something happens to me, I get down. And while I'm down, you blow up off of the shit we built. Granted, granted, it might have been because you because you started fucking with Puff, but you even being in those rooms is based off of us blowing up for the shit we did. Now you now you the shit. Now I'm back and ready to get shit going and you got other shit to do. Now I'm going to go. Now I have to go figure it out. And niggas, like he said, clown JT for running those little shows and all of that shit. And now she's popping. And now you're coming back to the table because your billionaire nigga is down as fuck right now. And you can't even be attached to that shit. And you're coming back to the label like, yo, let's do it. Let's make music. Nigga, no, what? The label's been sitting here. The label's been sitting here trying to push you to make music. We've been trying to push you to make music. Y'all put out a project. It don't do that well. She goes on her own, gets popping. And now you and now, now, nigga, you want to make music. Get popping first. You're not popping right now. Your shit is down because of all of the shit that is going on with the personal life shit that you chose over music. This shit all lines up. This shit that got me rich. This shit that got yeah, me rich. Sure. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That's great for you. That's great for you, but how does that benefit the music part of your career? How does it benefit your friend? How does if, it benefit yeah, if, if you, me when my friend went to jail and I held it down by myself? Tell it the whole story. You either way. It Tell benefited the you a lot. Tell the whole story. It was benefited you a lot. When she was in prison and I'm doing all this shit by myself? Was I... Was I... She, was I... Be- was I abandoned you think, then? Was, was you think she got abandoned it, when she was in prison? Absolutely. Oh, and I held after, it down. After like, she got out. I, and I held it down. And I held it down. Karan, Karan, bro, stop. Stop what? You got pop. You got, you were popping. So yeah, you don't act like it was a, like, I, like you had to be forced to get up in the morning and go to the fucking Drake video. And oh, go no, to no, the no. fucking yeah, Carisha. We was, we was, you know, nigga, was you was popping. You're cool. We was You're cool with doing that. Don't act like you was doing this great, amazing thing for me by becoming a big celebrity while I was in jail. You didn't do that for me? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. She gonna always so, so, salute salute the so JT. JT didn't That's benefit, because they she were didn't benefit from that? She didn't benefit from Carisha's run while she was in jail? I don't think so. All no. those records say City Girls. They, none of them say Young Miami. They all say City Girls. In the long run, I don't think she did. Because when it came, when it came, when it when it came time for me to for, for me to get out and let's hit the streets and let's make some more music, you didn't want to do that. So no, I didn't benefit from the celebrity you became. Yeah, people still attach me to you, so I get some ears and stuff like that, but that didn't manifest itself in I had to still go out and grind. I had to still go out and do my own grind. You did your grind and you was popping and you were supposedly put the city girls on, yet somehow, somehow I still got to go put in my own work. What the because fuck the work, you, the work you did. With anybody of, saying that I can only talk when I'm up, I can't talk when I'm down. That's it. These are the same niggas okay, that's telling okay, me, oh, I don't say, care if the nigga's down. If the nigga pop it, when you're talking about Big Sean, if the nigga pop his shit, he, he should just pop it so I can only. The the biggest hater to me and my nigga in the last six months, I can't say nothing to him because I'm down. That's the yeah. most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my fucking life. No, it's not. That's no, the it's most ridiculous. No, it's not. A hundred percent. You would take that. If you, you would say take, something you would bad take about that me same, and my family, you would take the same stance I'm taking if it was Drake on this on the side. You no, would take the not. same stance I'm taking if there was a nigga that was way downer than Drake, laughing at Drake for losing against to, to losing to Kendrick. All of these niggas down. are way downer than Drake. 
All and of you them feel are. like they don't have no and you and don't you feel like they don't have any room to laugh at Drake? No, I, I feel like it all aligns like you were saying. I feel like Joe is not. I feel like mad I feel like you're career. saying that to make your point. I low key. I I'm well, not okay. saying you're lying. Well, I'm, just saying, have, well, I, I'm just saying I don't. believe I'm just saying I don't believe you. No, no, well, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying I don't. I don't believe you. There's a difference. I'm not. That's not saying. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying I don't believe you. You could be telling the truth. That you that you wouldn't say that if it was Drake on the other side. I'm just telling you that I don't believe you. But There's a difference. A hun- I can give you five different examples. It don't you? We could take Drake out of the equation. We could put Joe back in the equation. We can put Joe right back in the equation. The way he treated Kai not in them. The way he treat and niggas had to course correct. Now you don't know what you're talking about. You're doing this wrong. You're saying this wrong. These niggas is getting. He couldn't be like, oh no, nah, I'm down, so I can't say nothing. Niggas never said that Maul and Rory was down so they couldn't say nothing. Niggas never said that Mandy was down so she could. What's this new thing that only the nigga on top could talk? When did when did we That's adopt that? That's not new. That's not new. Verse, That's you just new. told me an hour hip- ago that Big Sean feel slighted by the big three and by rap. And you feel like, oh, I'm cool with the nigga that's down or low getting his shit off. You just said that an hour ago. Yeah. And now yeah. Carisha has to be quiet. That's insanity. I'm that's not saying insane. she that's, has to that's be that's insanity. I'm you're not see, I'm not saying she has to be quiet. I'm saying that the nigga she's laughing at has the right to say, who the fuck are you laughing at? You, you, nigga, you. Who are you laughing at? I do I would the I, from the outside from the outside years. I would from the yeah. outside I would love I would love to see Big Sean go at the upper hand top three niggas. But all three of them niggas absolutely can say who the fuck are you to try to fucking diss us nigga and that's what i think would likely happen if he did this is about what my my comment is about joe budden feeling like carisha doesn't have the space to laugh at me right now you don't you don't that's an not you take. That's an you don't have the space to laugh at me trying to make man nah, it's cool and a platinum, a platinum artist what, can't laugh at a twenty-year-old gold art no, record. No, listen, because it, see, we're we're having we're having two different arguments, and I respect it because you have to make the argument that makes sense to what you. And I'm not saying that you don't believe it or nothing, but you have to make the argument that makes sense. However, Joe specifically is talking about you, nigga. Your success. Me too. It's the I'm same talking thing. About her it's too. the same thing when I talk about when I talk about putting. Andre 3000 and Black Thought in the fucking top whatever lyricist uh, ever when I feel like they don't put out a lot of project as solo, as solo artists, a lot of um, product as solo artists. So it's the same thing for that. Carisha, you're a solo act right now and you're trying to put out music, but your label doesn't even fucking have your back. So who are you to laugh at me because I got a plaque that I should have got a long time ago, but my label didn't have my back? Who are you to laugh at me for being in being in a situation a, a with the label when a you're in a situation with a label? I'm I'm a platinum okay. selling artist. That's who I am. So the podcast don't matter. Selling artist. So so that I'm a better so that I'm a better and bigger podcast than you. That doesn't matter either. We're on the same list. Every pod list, Carisha, please. And no, she, she didn't podcast. make the complex the list. list. She made the or complex the new list this year. The new yes, list this year because we're talking about years. right now. Because we're talking well, about I mean, right now, nigga. Way. But it's halfway through 24, so I don't know that they put out a 24 list in the summer. If they did, then they did. But the last two years, with her, academics, Elliot, have all been on the same list as Joe Budden. If you down, if you, if you, list. this is the last thing I'm going to say. If you down because your nigga down, girl, bye. Bye. Get away from me. That's a weird, that's a weird. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. If I'm Joe, there's not a nigga that there's not someone else that can go down that's gonna make me go down. Yeah, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying, and that's I mean that's fine that you feel like that. You that's you, what Joe's saying. You've went out of your way, and he's listen. Joe can be wrong. This is the the first time that Joe's been wrong. You went out of your way to bash her and her loved one for months after sucking his dick your entire career. The first chance, the first turn of trouble. You kick this back in. Fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mind you, you're talking about domestic violence. Nigga, you're the king of rapper domestic violence. 
There's five different women with the same story about Joe Budden. His used-to-be best friend, Rocky, the girl Imani just got into it with, told the same story. What does that mean? So you want to talk you? about what does that down. mean? What does that so, mean coming from you though, Quran, if you're a person that that don't have this take on Puff? What do you mean? Like you're trying to tell me about Joe Budden's uh history of of domestic abuse, but so I, I'm Puff, telling you, but, but that Puff has you turned like, your is, back. Yeah, right, right. So you turned to you visually. Because a lot of niggas, you're smart enough to know a lot of niggas turned their back on Puff in real life, but nobody took a mic in the camera to be clear to turn their back on Puff, right? A lot of niggas just like, yeah, even Carisha, yeah. like, I ain't fucking with it. We can get out of here. No, no, go ahead. Finish your, finish your take. I was just, I'm just I'm indicating finished. that we need to... Okay. You didn't finish your take, but okay. Um, Yeah, my bad. I was just trying to indicate to niggas, let's do a, say the final, whatever. Yeah, yeah, wrap it up. I'm go ahead, Corey. I don't think Corey, I don't think Corey. Yeah, I don't think Corey has anything else to add to this. I do think that uh, I do think that um, a person a person has the right to feel like nigga, I'm up, I'm more up than you, so you don't have the you don't have the space to laugh at me. I'm gonna feel like that at some point in the future. I'm sure. If you're more up than a nigga and you talk about the nigga, I think you're weird. If you're if I'm above That's you, cool. why am I spending my am I, why am I spending my JBN money? To talk about a nigga I'm up on. If if we're doing the lead, that's cool. That's that's a weird take for Joe to be like, I'm up, I'm more up than you, so you can't laugh at me. If you were up to me, why are you talking about me? Great question. As the nigga, as the nigga that's more up than you and talked about you, because I feel like I can make uh, compelling content out of it and make money off of it and get it and get and something. I think from it's this hilarious moment. that your biggest record yeah. took you 20 years to go gold, and I went platinum in a summer. 